Today I'm going to show you the 4S stool. That's super simple step stool. This is really easy to put together and only requires a couple tools. Let's begin. Now to build this, I'm going to use one board. This is a one by eight by six. Now these right here in my store run around about $12, which might be a little expensive for you. There are a couple other ways you can do this. You can get some one by four furring strips and glue them together to be a one by eight or you could possibly even build this with a two by eight. In both of those cases, they are a little bit less expensive. But one thing to keep in mind, if you're gonna be looking for the one by eight, is to look for ones that may have some damage. In this case, this thing has been walked on a bunch. I actually found this over in the discard pile, the cheap 70% off, it had the purple paint from Home Depot, and that saved me a bunch of money on this as well. So keep that in mind. Now it's time to make some cuts. I'm gonna use a miter saw for this, but if you don't have a miter saw, that's okay. You can use a circular saw, or if you're real careful and you can cut really straight, you could even use a hand saw. Now, I'm gonna cut this down into four pieces at 12 inches, two pieces at six inches, and one piece at about nine and a half. Then I'd probably take some sandpaper and just knock off some of these splinters so we don't get them in our hands. Now we're going to rip down that nine and a half inch board into three separate pieces. We need a half of a board and then we need two quarters. Now I'm gonna use a table saw for this to make it really easy, but you don't have to have a table saw. You could again use your miter saw if you're very, very careful because your fingers will be really close. You could use a hand saw, even a band saw. Whatever you use, just try and get as straight aligned as possible. Next up, we're going to glue together a 12 inch board and a six inch board for each side. Now we want to glue these so there'll be one solid piece. So make sure that the bottom down here is nice and flush. Now that we've given this some time to dry, I'm going to overlap both of these and have them nice and even together because we want to cut out a small section here because if we were to leave this the full length, there's a very good chance of whatever surface we put this, the ground that is, it's going to rock back and forth because of the long footprint. But by putting them together and cutting out a small little section here, that'll allow the footprint to be a little bit smaller and rest easier on the ground. Now you can do this with a hand saw by just cutting maybe a triangle into it or a jigsaw. You can cut a circle out or a hole saw, whatever you'd like. We just want to minimize some of this footprint. Now that I've reduced some of the footprint, if you look real closely at the boards, the way everything is angled, if a lot of weight got put directly in the center, there's always a chance that these boards could split back apart. Now to strengthen this up, I looked back over to where I made all the cuts and there was a little bit of wood left over. So I'm actually going to cut this in half and then on the inside of each of these boards, I'm going to glue it right over that joint. And that should give it plenty of strength and I don't have to worry about it splitting apart. Now to hold this in place until the glue dries, I just added a few brad nails. You do not have to do this. You can just clamp it and give it a little bit of time. And now that we have the sides complete, we are going to go back to those nine and a half inch boards that we cut earlier. Then we ripped them into smaller pieces. This is the larger of the three. And we're going to place it on the inner corner here of the top step. Not only will this give strength to the top step, it will help hold both sides together. And to hold each of these together, we're just gonna add some glue to the ends here and make this a simple butt joint. We're also going to be adding one of the smaller nine and a half pieces to the front here. That'll help support the front step. And then an additional one in the back back here. And that'll give some more strength so the legs don't want to spread apart when there's weight on it. Now that I'm giving some time for the glue to dry, I'm going to remove this last clamp, put some glue on all three supports, add the second side, and again, clamp it together. Now when we do clamp this together, we need to make sure we have both of the sides in the upright fashion. That way we know all four feet are sitting flat, and that'll make sure everything goes together in the appropriate fashion. Now while this glue is drying, I can next work on the steps here. Now I've designed these steps to have a little bit of an overhang on both sides for a couple reasons. One, it just in case we are a little off on our measurements, you're not gonna see it. And two, I think it just looks a little bit better. So we're gonna glue that in place as well. Then we're gonna do the same right on a lower step. Now, of course, you don't need to add any nails or screws to this because the glue will hold everything in place. But to position and hold this in place until the glue dries, I'm just gonna add a couple brad nails. 
But of course, you don't have to do this. And now it's time to test it out. Oh yeah, plenty sturdy. And there you have it, the 4S stool. Super simple step stool. The great thing about this, since it's bare wood, you can easily stain this or paint this to match whatever room in your house. Also, it's super light, so you can easily put some kind of a hanger on the back and hang it up on your wall, up and out of your way. In my case, I like French cleats, and that's what I'll probably do with this one. So if you enjoyed this project, check out my next video right over here.